Hey guys, it's Chase. I had to change my channel name. I, I'm, I'm doing classes at a career tech center and I've got to have a professional name for my email and all that shit. And I don't know how to change it. If it, You can only change it on one thing and not everything. I've got to figure that out if you can actually do that. But today I'll be doing the big tire challenge and off-road outlaws. I'm going to do single player because it's just less lag. I got a new phone, so it runs a lot better. I can actually run my game on higher graphics and not worry about my videos. Hopefully not looking like crap because this is my first recording with a new phone. So, see how this goes. I'm also slightly sick right now, so if I sound like complete utter crap, that's why. And I forgot to turn my sound on in-game, so there will be no in-game sound. And I gotta put it in four-wheel drive. And I will be doing videos when my friend has changed his name on his YouTube channel so many times. His YouTube name right now is Eagle Eyes or something like that. I can't quite remember. I will... Oh, uh, yeah, link up in the description if I forget, then just look up Eagle Eyes. His logo is like an eagle face, just the face of an eagle. I couldn't find him for some reason, but I don't know if he changed his name again, so we'll see what I can do about that, and hopefully figure out if he's changed it again or if he's going to actually keep it as one, because he keeps changing it. I think he was CM Gaming at one point, Cookie Monster or something like that, I don't know. But yeah, I'll, I'll link him in the description, uh, probably do a video with him either tonight or a couple of days from now, I don't quite know yet. Depending on when this video goes out, either tonight or whenever it goes out, probably not too long after that. Ugh. Come on. Get over it. I just got done building the... I had this vehicle before. It had a perfect tune and everything on it. And then I sold it. I don't remember why I did. Probably because I'm an idiot. But I sold it. And then... Did some other stuff. And then I bought it again. Again, if you go over on my friend's channel, Eagle Eyes, you'll see that I've had this vehicle before. It's just that I sold it for, I think, a rock crawler or something. And then, now I've got it back because it's actually a decent vehicle for rock crawling with. Sometimes it gets stuck, though, on certain parts. Like here, I got stuck the last time, which is kind of annoying. And that, yeah, I had a failed recording before this, so. I hate. I need to get rid of that funny. It's so annoying. Fucking pisses me off. And anybody that's watching this, this is. I will swear, so. This is not like little kid, you know. Don't bring your kids and let them watch the video unless you're one of those parents that lets their kids watch stuff like that and go for it. I don't really care. It's your life. And hopefully I can f finish the big tire challenge without falling off or getting stuck in a stupid spot. And yeah, again, this is the big tire challenge on Off-Road Outlaws. So. Okay. Go. There we go. Come on. Go. Oh, God. If you ever play this map, anybody that's watching, do n pretty much the logs are just a pain in the ass in this game. They just get in your way 
almost 24-7. You get stuck wrong on one of these and you do not have a winch with you, you are screwed. Because you get stuck on them little stumps, this is what they're called, my brain's working about half staff right now. But, yeah, you just, you can high center right on top of one of them and it, you don't have a winch on your vehicle, you're screwed. And this too. This is another thing that you get high centered on in this map quite a bit of stuff like these pylons. Come on. Mostly because this thing isn't a short wheelbase, it's a longer wheelbase vehicle anyways, so that doesn't help anything really. Also this part is annoying too. Probably should upgrade or repair my stuff too. Come on. Can I winch anywhere on the other side? Aha, I can. Uh oh. This is not a good spot to be in. Not a good spot. There we go. Oh, hit the winch, that was good. Not mean to do that. Oops. Hopefully I can finish this because usually I either get stuck in some sp stupid spot and I can't move or I fall off from the last part because sometimes, I don't know, lag, I guess. I don't know if that's going to happen this time because I have a different phone. Because mine kind of died. I went out fishing probably about the last time I put a video out, the day of, I think. I went out fishing and... We just bought kayaks, if I remember correctly. And I ended up dropping the stinking thing in the water. And you can kind of catch what happened after that. I just had to go and get a new phone. Oh. I almost lost that old phone, too, because when it went in the water, it was in a paper bag, or a plastic bag, too. But the seal wasn't quite put on it. But the bag actually almost fell in the water. Luckily, I actually had my, uh, I was out fishing. I had my fishing pole, and I was able to pull it out of the water before it completely sank. So, at least I was able to save it. Sadly, it did not work after that. Oh, come on. I centered it. But yeah, that's how I lost my other phone, that last phone. But this one's an active phone, so I can actually, you know, put it underwater and it doesn't die. Like, you still need to take the SIM card out and let it dry out, but it's not like it's going to die every single time. If you drop it in the water, it's not dead. That, and if you drop it anyways, it's not dead either. I just ordered a case for it. I was looking at cases online, and the cheapest one I found was 25 bucks, and it's actually a pretty good case, I guess. I cannot remember the name of it, but it should be showing up in a, probably about a week, but... See if we can finish this. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sick right now. I'm pretty sure I got a cold. So. It's always fun. Two more parts of the course to go and I'm done. So. Oop, not the winch. Stupid thing. Okay, go up the hill. There we go. Thousand bucks. I am breaking this thing so much. Probably because I'm ramming into stuff a lot. Which does not help. And one thing. For a vehicle that I'm gonna get muddy, I chose the wrong color. I chose white. It's just a stupid idea, I'm sorry, but that was a really dumb idea. Here, let me make a rock crawler and then expect to never go through mud. Yeah, no. I'm stupid. Nice thing is that at least on this vehicle it at least looks nice, because usually in this game the white doesn't look that good. Oh god. 
Oh, I might be stuck. Oh, okay. The the crate back there. The one back there. That one. It has a weird hitbox. Like your rear end won't quite go right up next to it. Sometimes, like on the corner. Sometimes it will. Sometimes it won't. I don't know why. Again, if any of you have ever played this game and played this map, you would kind of understand where I'm getting out. Oop, I didn't do that. I always click, accidentally click the winch button because I hold my, my uh, middle finger right next to it, just in case I need to use it. Oops, hold it. Uh-oh. Come on. I know he can do it. You've done it before. You should be able to do it again. There we go. Well, this one hasn't done it before. My old one did. But again, it's the same vehicle. It's just my other one had perfect tune on it. Dang it. I need to stop doing that. Move my finger to where I'm not going to hit that. Because I keep doing it. It's getting annoying. It's getting annoying. I I can speak English perfectly fine. Oh, God. Come on. Like I said, those little... These logs are a pain to get over. Oh my goodness, this is going to be like this, or not? Probably should have repaired my vehicle. That also helps, usually. I had like $7,000 when I started this. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have any money. Hey, you got rid of the mud pit. Yes. A giant frickin' mud pit right here at one point. And it was so slow. I mean, it was just like two miles an hour and it's as long as all these rocks. I haven't been on this map in a while, so I'm glad he actually changed it because that part was so annoying. You sit there and you're trying to go over it and you can't go anywhere because you're sitting in mud doing two miles an hour. <clears throat> I need to turn around steering on the, onto this thing because I keep hitting stuff. Okay, repair it. This is a, one of the worst rock crawls on this map. This, this one right here usually is the worst, but it looks like he updated it and made it to where you can actually get over it. Here's the end of the challenges right up here. No, no, no. Thank you guys for watching. This was a big tire challenge. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to. I don't know. It's your choice. Thanks for watching. Bye.